Michelle Leo Samu, and today I am talking about the chapters of Bungo Stray Dogs, chapters 46 through 50, and also comparing some of the moments to the anime, and very excited for this one. We have some pretty good ones. Some of them are not exactly comparisons, but just maybe something I felt like I could bring up. And we're just going to jump right into it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Go check out my TikTok at Shelby Osamu, Shelby Dot Osamu. Wow. And I have an Instagram, Shelby Osamu 24. And here we go. I come down. This mysterious attacker this might already chill. be dead. Which organization do you think stands to lose the most if a gifted assassin were to go on a massacre here, Atsushi? So in the manga, you know, in the anime, we just kind of see Dazai just kind of sitting there like this, being being Dazai. He really doesn't give a shit. And he's just so chill all the time. But the manga actually has, when he asks Atsushi the question of which organization would have the most impact here, it has him sitting with like his legs crossed and then he's like sitting like this. He's so sassy. The man is just sassy. And I love it. I wish this moment was animated. You're, you're choking me. I really can't breathe. <laughs> Why? Why do we... Listen, why does Bones have to be so hardcore with the ass shots? I don't, I don't get it at all. I feel like there's so many characters where it's not necessary. Are we going to be fully mad about it? No. But it's just funny to me. that That's the moments and the vibes that we get for this show. It's just the ass shots. I love it. But the, that's not the reason I'm bringing this scene up, by the way. We're not here to talk about Maury's ass. Even though it was still funny to bring up. Um, it's the manga when Maury hits the ground and is like, we're having his butt. He makes the comment that Elise is his ability. And I feel like the anime, it's more implied that Elise is his ability. She's not... She's not just some child that follows him around. It's because she's his ability, so she has to. And I was like, I don't think the anime ever really, from what I remember, doesn't really come out and say, Elise is my ability. My hat is missing. Is this what you're looking for? <laughs> hey there, Demon Fyodor. <laughs> you again. The last time I, I saw- I love Dawson just strolling on in with Theodore's hat and an apple. For anyone that hasn't seen Dead Apple, highly recommend it. It's a very good movie. Um, so I like the tie-in of that because I think the movie is based before season three. I think it's like the middle of two and three. So I like the fact to tie in the movie, the animators are like, let's have Dazai at eating an apple in front of Theodore because of what all happens putting him and Theodore in the movie. And it's just so funny to me, him just strolling on over <laughs> after taking his hat. And it's just, it's very funny to me. It's adorable. I prefer the manga's moment, though, of Dazai showing up in Fyodor's hat because of just the cute stance that he has. He's so fucking adorable, and I love it. Listen, do I still love the scene? Yes. The adding of the apple, I think, really does something for the for the anime because I don't think he's really even holding an apple in the manga. So I like that tie-in. But I think when it's revealed that Dazai has on his hat in the manga, it's actually cuter because he's just like this. He's just a cute little baby. And I love him. Discuss it with the Port Mafia. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Just two days? They're trying to put on... <laughs> I love Chuya. He's just, I love his like popularity of showing up for 15 seconds and slaying every time. First time we have fully seen Chuya in a hot minute and his first lines are crumbling up a paper and saying, son of a bitch. I, I love it so much. I love Chuya. He slays, he's hype. I love him. Very dearly. Him and Dazai are probably almost tied with my top number one. Like, I probably love them both almost equally. Still gonna be Dazai, but he is like 
right there, y'all. But I think either line, the manga has him saying shithead instead of son of a bitch. Which either line, I think would have been just fine for Chuya. I see him saying both. I see him saying shithead and I hear him saying son of a bitch. But I like the addition because I do think it's just, it's funnier when you hear him say son of a bitch. It starts. Why? <laughs> so I have mixed feelings, obviously, in this part because I hate seeing Daz I hurt because I love him. He's a sweet little bean. I love him so much. So when he's hurt, I'm like, I want to hurt whoever hurt him, right? But at the same time, I'm torn because the ending scene of him laying there on the ground, he would be hot and injured at the same time. Like, it just, it drives me nuts. Characters in the Armed Detective Agency that is very smart, intelligent, strategic, like Rampo and Dazai. Like, they are both. I really like those two being in the ADA. But I also like having somebody just as intelligent as them as a bad guy. Because I'm like, leave my baby alone. <laughs> There's just one little difference. You're right about people being sinful and foolish. Tell him, Dazai. <laughs> Book you're looking for is a self-contained novel. In a shot, how is he standing? Moments here that's kind of, if I remember right anyways, technically the same to the manga. But one of the things I wanted to talk about when it comes to this moment is that I do like the fact of Dazai sacri risking his life for the agency. I like him risking that. He knew the sniper was there. He knew the possibility of getting shot. And I like that because I think it really shows that development side of Dazai as the show goes on. And he continues to risk his life for the ADA. And it's I think just him trying to prove to more himself that he has changed and is trying to be a better person like Otisaku wanted. Hasn't read Beast. I have it like right here. I have to have my mic lifted. If any, oh. if anybody hasn't read Beast, go read it. I have a review on it too, if you're curious. And go check it out because moments like this part here for some for spoilers on the book, but it makes me believe more that it's canon because of the fact that Dazai knows about this book more than a lot of other people do. It's Where do you think he went? He said he was going to be investigating something around here. I, this part is again, actually a little bit different than the manga has. The anime has Dazai, or Dazai, has Azushi looking for Dazai with Kiyoka. But the manga actually has Atsushi looking for Dazai with Kunikita. And I don't really know why they changed it to Kyoka, because to me, I think Kunikita makes more sense. Because Dazai and Kunikita are technically partners in the Armed Detective Agency. And Atsushi is the one who Dazai brought into the Armed Detective Agency. So during the stuff with the coffee shop owner, when he's taken and injured and the Armed Detective Agency goes and looks for them and gets revenge on it. And that those moments in the anime of Asushi taking down the guards outside, he actually in the manga doesn't do that alone. Kunikita's with him. So look at the second time Kunikita's been replaced by someone else or just removed in the anime. And I'm like, this moment, he kind of should have been there, I felt like, just because of it being Daz watching him fall. Oh god, he's cute. It's hot. Dazai! I hate hearing Atsushi the way he yells Dazai's name when he really you can see the difference when he says it the first time he hasn't seen him yet to when he sees him it breaks my heart every damn time and I it's hard to do for a manga perspective because obviously you can't hear their voices so I, I think it's more emotional, clearly, for the anime because you're hearing the voice actor. 
And the voice actor for Atsushi, I think, does a good job here in the English dub because you can hear that emotion and worry from him so much. And it breaks my heart because he cares about Dazai so much. I think Dazai is like an older brother to him. And you can really hear the way he says his name and how much Dazai means to him by that reaction. So hi! Oh. I can never get old with this game. Oh, I love that angle. Can we just keep that angle? Sorry, Detective Agency. I swear it's nothing personal. <laughs> Give me your boss's head. And the rest of you can walk out of here alive. Can I just say I would do it? <laughs> I love the scene in the anime. This is one of my favorite moments from Chuya, like early on. Because it's so just fucking cool watching him jump from the buildings and slamming into the ground. And the just, the angle, once again, we're talking about angles and bones when it comes to asses. I, I can keep looking at that any day of the week. I also, too, like when he like turns around, turns his head around. I really like that moment, too. I think he looks really good there. The manga panels are fine. I think they're good, but I think the anime felt like it needed to be more hype, and they delivered, because I love this moment for Achuya. I think it's really cool, and I like him being in charge. Ability! No more points! Tatami got an Dude! So He's underrated. I love it. Able to hit him. Where the hell did that knife come from? I thought we searched the guy. The agency's gifted have more cards up their sleeve than we had expected. This moment is somewhat similar for the most part, but I do like the manga panels is really the reason I'm bringing this up. Because I think both are really hype, but I think the manga panels with the black and white, it actually looks sick. And I, I don't think he gets fully talked about enough, but I think is enough. The fact that he had three ability users like right in front of his face with guns and weapons pointed at him and he just leaves them in the dust with his ability and I I love it. I'm on my way. <laughs> Protect the boss. Shit. I can't let you go and do that, Mr. Fancy Hat. <laughs> <laughs> I love when Rompo calls to you Mr. Fancy Hat. I catch myself calling him that sometimes actually. I think it's obvious reasons why he wears a fancy hat. But the reason I wanted to bring this part up, because it's pretty much similar to the manga, but in a recent, like, beginning chapters when I was reviewing the anime and the manga, um, the stuff with the guild, when they are using the uh, receptionist as bait to the guild and then making the armed detective agency choose, um, you know, Chuya is there, and in the manga, that is when Rapo calls him Mr. Fancy Hat for the first time. The anime, he doesn't call him that until this moment. So I was curious to see if he would call him that again. This moment came up, so I'm bringing it up for that purpose, is because I was curious to see if he calls him that in the manga, too. And he does in the manga as well. He calls him Mr. Fancy Hat in both. But I just didn't know if the anime switched the places together or if the manga will just not call him that in this moment and then they just put it here instead. Maybe, but aren't you the one who <laughs> lost to Dazai? <laughs> you want to feel what it's like to be yeah. crushed by gravity? I volunteer. I volunteer as tribute to you. So... <laughs> I, this moment is virtually the same, but in a way has just a few words that are different. Um, 
when he says, do you want to know what it's like to be crushed by gravity? The manga just has him say, do you want to be crushed? And both are basically imply the same thing, but for some reason, I like the wording change more in the anime. And I love the memes and the edits of Chuya asking that, and then it has uh, Hunger Games when Katniss is like, I volunteer! <laughs> because, yeah, I would volunteer <laughs> Chuya. I would volunteer so bad. Say, aren't you the one who lost to Dazai? That just pisses him off so quick. And I like to think that Dazai was the one who was like, hey, Rampo, you're going to have to stop Chuya in order for this to work. So I got an idea for you. And then Rampo was like, I like it, Dazai. I'm going to do it. And again, I just, anytime Rampo opens his eyes, do you like mystery novels? <laughs> I can't get my fist out! There are a thousand characters in this one. And half- I... I love this moment, first of all. Rompo's side profile for a second. Oh, God. And a little smirk he gives right before being like, Do you like mystery novels? And I just, it's very funny to me. Uh, him doing this to Chuya. Because <laughs> they knew this would be how to get him out of the situation. Like, Because I do like the anime version of some of this stuff. Especially with Chuya more. But the panel of Ron Poe using Poe's book. And putting Chuya in the ability with him. Is actually really sick. It's really cool. And I mean the moment the anime is really cool too. But I... The, the manga is actually really sick, and that's really the main reason I wanted to bring this part up. <laughs> Who was instrumental in founding the armed detective agency? His whereabouts are a mystery to everyone. Rumor has it, his ability is unrivaled, allowing him to see through anything. I enjoy the fact that the manga has Dazai using a iPhone, and then the anime he's using a flip phone, flip phone, words. I love the fact that he's using a flip phone. Like, the, the anime is just like Dazai would be somebody who would just be old-fashioned and would have a flip phone. <laughs> or that we just kind of forget that he would have an iPhone. I like this part, too, because the manga, or, yeah, the manga has him getting yelled at by the nurse for using his phone because he just had surgery. So, they're like, hey... You can't have your phone. You need to be stressed. You need to relax. You can't have that. And I now get why people think it's implied that he sleeps with the nurse to be able to keep his phone. Um, because of these panels. Um, I don't know why they didn't keep that. Maybe they just felt like it wasn't really a good look for Dazai's character. But I also just am like, would he have even been able to? He just came out of surgery. He was just shot. That's a lot of dead bodies. Stay back, or I'll ice him! Do as you like. <laughs> Don't be like that. <laughs> you were just- Panels are actually funny when the guy is like, I'll shoot him! And because I was like, okay, have fun. Oh, go ahead. I'll watch, you know? And where it's just like, oh, don't be like that. The panel, he has, I think it's both of them have like a funny, like drawn out expression. Kind of similar to Mori's that he has here, but slightly different. Oh, you have 12 hours before the effects hours. of the virus become mere of boredom. It's the Aww. information they need to okay. succeed. I won't have a mere pack of rats chewing up the organizations I <laughs> approve of. Laying into them. Like, all right, you fuckers. Like, listen. <laughs> what are we doing? I... I also like the fact that he says I gave... Basically, that I gave intel to your subordinates. And we see Dazai getting intel. And I assume when he says subordinates for Fukuzawa, it was Dazai. We don't really see who he gives it to for Mori. I assume, well, he can't give it to Chu He can't give it to Chuya. So I assume maybe the other, one of the other executives, or maybe the Black Lizard, or maybe Atagawa. Um, somebody like that, maybe. But I... I do like the fact that he gives it to Dazai. I, and, I, and I don't know if it's just because he thought it'd be easier because Dazai's in the hospital and he couldn't do anything. Or 
Because you would think it would be Kunikita because he's the one that theoretically will be replacing the president if something ever happened to him. So you would think it would be Kunikita. So I don't fully know why he gave it to Dazai. I assume either he just, he knew where Dazai was and was like, you're in the hospital, so it makes sense for me to give it to you. Or maybe he just felt like Kunikita mindset right now with what happened. Maybe he just didn't feel like it was right. But I also think it could make sense to give it to Dazai because Dazai seems to be one of the few people that also knows about that guy. Like, Dazai seemed to know more about this guy than Tanizaki did. So it's, I think that kind of makes sense too. But, I, well, that is it, guys, for chapters 46 through 50. I hope you guys are enjoying my the new look here of me reacting to the moments and then talking about it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Any other things you would like me to do, let me know. And once again, don't forget to subscribe. And I am happy you were here. Believe it.